Hello and welcome to the second video in our series of Cool Muscle One tutorials. My name is Matthew Temple, and in today's video, we will review how to set up and use your Cool Muscle for the very first time. Our first step in today's video is to ensure that you have everything you need to get started, and that would consist of a Cool Muscle One integrated servo motor, a communications interface such as a USB Y cable, a 24 volt DC power supply such as this IDEC PS5R unit, and the green voltage clipping uh, varistor which is included with the purchase of each motor. You will also need a Windows PC. Before we do any work with the cool muscle, we want to make sure that our DC power supply is turned off. Next, we will insert the white 12 pin Molex connector into the mating connector on the back of the cool muscle servo. Do not force the connector in. To apply power to the motor, we will need to connect the orange conductor from this Y cable to the plus 24 volt terminal on our DC supply. Likewise, connect the gray conductor to the return terminal on your DC power supply. If using the motor for anything other than desktop testing, we always suggest installing the green varistor across the positive and negative supply of your DC power supply in order to prevent damage from regenerative voltage. Plug the Y cable's communications port into your PC. You will have to identify the appropriate COM port on your system. If you're using an RS-232 Y cable, this will most likely be COM port 1. If you're using a USB uh, Y cable, you will need to use Windows Device Manager to identify the appropriate COM port. Next, on your Windows-based PC, start up the CoolWorks Lite application software. If you do not have the CoolWorks Lite software, you can download it for free from our website at www.coolmuscle.com slash software. Please ensure that you're using CoolWorks Lite version 4.1.7 as it is specifically optimized for the Cool Muscle 1 series of motors. When you start up CoolWorks Lite, you will be greeted by a startup dialog. In that dialog, please enter the appropriate COM port for your motor, like so. You will also have to select the default communications baud rate of 38,400 bits per second. Click the open COM button on the startup dialog and CoolWorks Lite will open up in the terminal window. Now we're ready to turn on the cool, the cool Muscle servo system. Apply power to the servo system by plugging in your DC power supply or turning it on if it has a switch. You can verify that the motor is on by attempting to turn the motor shaft by hand. If the motor resists and you're, uh, you're, you're turning it, then you're ready to proceed. If the motor and software are configured correctly, the motor will print a short power-up routine in the motor response window of CoolWorks Lite. Unless otherwise specified, the motor will assume that it is posi at position zero when it powers up. Type question mark 96 in the single line command of CoolWorks Lite to query the motor position. The motor should return a statement in the motor response window, which is, consists of PX.1, which means motor one, position zero. As you may or may not know, the Cool Muscle has the ability to store user-defined subroutines. In Cool Muscle parlance, we call these program banks. Each Cool Muscle ships from the factory pre-installed with a simple uh, program bank, which will allow you to execute right now by typing in open square bracket one and then typing enter in the single line command. As you can see, the motor is moving. And what you may notice in CoolWorks Lite is that while the motor is running, discrete events are generated as the motor hits each target position. When the bank is completed, the motor will actually print a, a specific statement of N.1, telling the user that the subroutine is complete. Our next step is to safely turn off your motor. In this case, we will do so by unplugging the DC power supply. Before you unplug the DC power supply, be sure that the motor is not moving. Never at any point pull the Y cable connector out of the motor while it is moving or powered. Once the motor is depowered, you can close CoolWorks Lite. In today's video, we learned how to set up and use your CoolWorks Lite servo or your Cool, your cool Muscle servo for the first time. Thank you for your time, and for more information on the Cool Muscle line of servos, please, please visit www.coolmuscle.com. Thank you.